I am Linda Griffin Brost, and I'm a third generation Arizona native and seventh generation Arizona native. I would like to talk about the Griffin ranching history in Gila County. Prior to 1904, Dr. John Griffin of Hillsboro, Texas, financed his son David to buy a ranch both in Imperial, California and Gila County, Arizona. The Gila County Ranch was called the Gila County Cattle Company and it was located in the Pringle area of Wheatfields with the Flying H brand. Also prior to 1904, Dr. Griffin financed his son Fred and his son John to ranch in New Mexico. In 1904, when David was in California with his ranching, he was accidentally killed by a train. This prompted Dr. John to bring his two sons, John and Fred, to Arizona to settle the estate. John and Fred ran the Pringle Ranch for some length of time until Fred decided to return to Texas. John then bought several ranches, including the TVs in Tonto, the Flying V's in Roosevelt, and the wine glass on Cherry Creek. In 1912, he married Molly Beach, a Globe native with roots into Spanish colonial Tucson and her Romero ancestors. John also became a vice president of the First National Bank of Globe. This was an independent bank, like many that were established in mining and cattle towns throughout Arizona. And in those days, the bank officers backed all the loans. Between 1916 and 1920, he had sold the ranches down in Tonto and, and Cherry Creek and put together four different outfits and was in partnership or owned the X4 ranch who was once owned by Sanders, the 4Y, the JU which was owned by Shorty Carraway and John Griffin in partnership, and the I Lazy HL of the Sadow brothers. Shorty Caraway was also well, a well-known Texas cowboy and was featured in the book Cowboy written by Ross Santee. In 1916, the X4 brand was officially listed to John Griffin. In 1917, John and Molly bought a lot on the corner of Hill and Ash Street in Globe for one dollar. They built a beautiful tufa stone home, which the tufa stone had been quarried in San Carlos, and that home has now, now become the administration building for Globe Public Schools. In 1918, their only child, a son James, was born. In 1923, the X4 brand became officially part of Griffin Ranch. Griffin Ranch is situated 16 miles northeast of Globe on Highway 60. But in those days, Highway 60 did not exist. So John and Molly and their son would travel by car to San Carlos to the Cross Up Ranch, where they would then change to horses and then ride the rest of the way into the ranch horseback. In 1926, there was a run on the banks which forced John and Molly into a choice. Facing bankruptcy, they had to choose between keeping the home and globe or the ranch. They chose the ranch and lost the home. In 1932, the cattle that, we, that Griffin owned roamed all over the acreage, which was about 45,000. And it also included a lot of wild cattle that were called blackjacks. John was directed 
to remove the wild cattle from his Forest Service allotment and was involved in an accident. He was leading two wild blackjack steers. When they went the opposite direction, his horse reared over backwards and caused serious internal injuries. One of the cowboys working with him came upon the scene, helped cut him from his entanglements, and he rode the two miles back to the ranch headquarters. He was transported to town, but died the next day from internal injuries. Jimmy was 12, and his wife Molly was 45. She then assumed management of the ranch, which was unusual in that day for a woman to, to uh, be a manager of a ranch. In the 1940s, Jimmy joined the Army and was sent to England, where he met a whack from Boston, Minnie Keeler. They fell in love and were married in England in 1945, and he brought her back to the wilds of Arizona to live on the ranch. In 1949, Jimmy, in partnership with his mother Molly, ran 1,100 head on the Griffin Ranch. Things progressed until about 1966 when, due to a severe drought, the Forest Service cut the head permit in half. By then, it left maybe five or six hundred head. My dad, Jimmy, had two daughters in college and was faced with severe financial challenges. He enlisted the assistance of the uh, extension service from the U of A and they came and consulted and planned a rotational grazing system which is still in use today. Prior to that cattle ran anywhere they wanted on the ranch and there were two roundups per year a month in the spring and a month in the fall. This new rotation grazing required roundups every couple of months, every four months, and gave pastures a good length of time to rest and regenerate. In 2001, again because of the severe drought and lack of forage, the Forest Service removed all cattle from the Tano from several ranchers. This was a severe hit and many ranchers went out of business. The Griffin family persevered, started to rebuild, and in 2007, we had 157 head. Jim and Minnie had six children, and after my father's death in 1999, the Griffin family partnership was formed and still exists today. Back in the 1904 era, when John Griffin owned the Pringle Ranch, they ran 4,000 head of cattle. Today, June of 2021, we have 370 cows on the ranch, along with bulls, and calves. We are committed to maintaining the legacy left to us by our grandfather and continuing to grow and improve the ranch.